Scott, 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 Bing, Scott, Scott, Bing.
bunker, 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 Friend, welcome. Come on over, take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you, cheap as free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Eh, uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? Sweaty breeze! Hup, now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it! There's no such thing as a free lunch. Pay. Hey, you can pay me three of those cheap poofs. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. Ooh. 
to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a freighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. Fried. <laughs> 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 Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs>
Oh, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and, uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisbert, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Howdy.
ridiculous. And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. Just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, Bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. Scramble, dear. Are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry. I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. Uh, of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. <laughs> It's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, d don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Uh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. I'm no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> You've certainly heard my number one single, A Do the Wiggle. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. 
Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Oh, well. You know, no head can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And I've been accused of being a one-head wiggle. Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That simple. I was following Grandma. He certainly knows his way around snacks. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, Lisbert. She and Agabelle were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Not nearly as often as I'd like. That night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. 
It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something, oh, spectacular. I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede, a snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. 